सो ए पी आई एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्रामिंग इंटरफेस सो वट इज एन ए पी आई हाउ इट विल गोइंग टू हेल्प अस ऑल कैंड ऑफ स्टफ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो वेल आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ए पी आई राइट नाउ वट आई विल डू आई विल शो यू सम रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी विल लर्न सम पॉइंट्स एंड एट द एंड यू येस यू योर सेल्फ कैन गिव मी द डेफिनेशन एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ ए पी आई ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल गिव यू फाइव रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड सम की पॉइंट्स दिस की पॉइंट्स वुड बी इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एन ए पी आई नाउ फ्रॉम दोज key points you can create your own definition the way you want after that we will see how google and facebook apis look like or where to get those api at the end i will discuss about the concept of api key so hi there this guru welcome back with another video without wasting any further time let's jump right in Okay so let us start with the very first example which is a very common example and you all are doing it so you can easily relate with it and that is sharing whatsapp status now let's look at a video so let's say i am going to share one picture in my whatsapp status okay so if i click on it then this picture will be shared in my whatsapp status at the same time i'll get one option called share to facebook story so if i click on it then what happen the same picture with the same content whatever the caption that you have added the same thing will be shared in facebook story now how it is happening yes this is happening because of api right so we have learned something from here that is because of api two piece of software like one is whatsapp another one is facebook application right two piece of software they can communicate together okay this is because of api so actually this api is created by facebook and facebook is sharing the api to whatsapp and whatsapp is using it okay so api is nothing but a service service is nothing but a piece of code okay so two thing we have learned from here number one using api two piece of software can communicate to each other okay and the second one is it is nothing but a piece of software like a service okay so this is the first example like we have seen how api is working so slowly we will have more points and we can build a very good definition of an api let's move on to the next example in this example i will talk about login using oauth so this term oauth it may be like for you this is the first time you are hearing this term oauth but i can guarantee that you have done this operation at least once or many times okay let me show you one example so uh, let me open one application like say coursera i'm opening coursera application here you can see so let's say i am a new user to this application and i would like to register my account in this application okay so i will go for sign up let's say click on login so here is one option let's say new user i will go for sign up see here i can write my full name email address password and i can sign up i can register my account in this application very easily but there are some other way as well here you can see or after that we have two options like continue with google continue with facebook okay so what is that so it's mean if your profile information is already there in this third party application like google facebook or if you have already registered in this application then you can share this information to this application you can reuse those information so as to log in or sign up in this application okay and how it is happening it is happening with the help of api behind the scene they are using api some services and through that they are getting your profile information from google or facebook and thus you can easily sign up or log into this application without providing any single entry okay so here we have learned almost the same thing which we have learned in the previous example like how because of api one application can share some data to other application right like how they are communicating to each other and this is nothing but a service i already told you nothing but a piece of code so this is nothing but oauth where some third party application will share your profile information to some application obviously with your permission so now let's move on to the next example 
the third example like booking a ticket for let's say flight bus train and so on here i'll talk about a flight booking only okay let's say i'm going to book a flight in one airline let's say in indigo now tell me one thing how many of you are there who are actually booking this flight from indigo website i really doubt it because you need some offers some discount and that's why you are sometimes using paytm phone pay is my trip flipkart happy easy go go ibibo paypal make my trip and so on okay so you are using all this kind of application to book a flight just to get some offer or some kind of benefit now how it is possible how we can book the same flight from a different application this is possible because of api now indigo is creating their own api and they are providing it to other third party application like flipkart paytm phone pay and so on and they are using this api and because of that you can book the same flight from this application okay now you can understand two things from here number one because of api this all applications they are connected number one and second one because of an api one application can have lot of features they can integrate multiple features into it like using paytm you can book a flight you can uh, book a gas you can uh, pay electricity bill you can recharge and so many things that you can do with the help of paytm or other application this is possible only because of this api so this example is i think a very good example for understanding the concept so what you have learned from here number one all applications are connected because of api we all are in connected era number one number two integration you can integrate multiple features in your own applications okay now let's look at the next example the fourth example i think this is an example where you can understand the actual importance of an api so this is about google map web services so let's talk about a uh, cab services like let's talk about ola uber okay so in this cab services you can see they are using something called gps or google map web services just to track their customer or car or destination but does it mean they have their own uh, satellite a sensor all this kind of stuff not at all they don't have they are just using some api services okay this services is provided by google they are just paying for it and they are just using these services and they are working so this gps service is a service you can see lot many applications are using it let's talk about other application let's talk about online food delivery application like zomato swiggy okay so this kind of applications are also using gps or google map web services just to track their food or delivery boy so you can see google has created their own api and other applications are using it and they are paying to google and this is how google is earning money so what you have learned from here number one you can create your own api the way google has created and you can share with other and this is how you can earn money number two you can use someone else's api like ola uber zomato they are using gps okay someone else's api and thus they are making money so two options either create your own api or use someone else's api third one which is an important one it is nothing but an interface yes so api is something like it will tell you about what it will not tell you about how like it is nothing but an interface it will not tell you like how the logic was written what kind of services are written it will just give you the value that's it it's all about interface okay the fourth point some apis are free some are not let's talk about gps so up to a range it will be free for you but after having certain number of traffic you have to pay so this is how some apis are free or some are not okay so let's look at the fifth example in this example i will talk about something which is more about a situation oriented so fifth example it is regarding weather report so let's say you want to create one application which will show weather data across all the region in india now what you will do in that case how you will get all those data in different region think about it 
so whatever we have learned so far just try to apply it see you have one choice here you can install temperature sensor across different region in india and you can collect data from there you can gather data from there and you can show that in your application this is one option so think about it how you will do it if you are thinking the same way i am thinking then think again because in this way you have to spend a huge amount of money also a lot amount of time so think about it how you will achieve it yes with the help of api means someone has already installed this temperature sensor so why to install again you can use those data this api is already available you don't have to take responsibility nothing only the thing is you will pay and you will get those services you will get those data and you can show that in your application so i hope you can understand using api how easily you can do this kind of thing so this five real life examples i think would be more than sufficient to have a good concept of an api so let me show you some of the apis like how it looks like let's uh, search for a facebook api so you can see here uh, in this website a number of apis are available by facebook you can see uh, this all are kind of api you can see uh, facebook login okay you can see this is all our kind of api let's go here you can check here like uh, you can go through the documentation okay so now let's go for google api uh, let's uh, go for google api let's say google map uh, go into this link you can check here a number of apis are available from google site so i need a map api let's uh, go inside it if i go for product okay i i need to know something about map so uh, here you can see uh, 1 billion monthly active users 50 million updates daily 200 million businesses and places so you can understand like how they are earning money from this api so let me sign into this application first so after signing to this application let's go for get started so here you can see my account is already there in this application i have already created one project so from here you can create some new project okay and in that project you can use uh, those kind of api whatever you need in credential you will get that api key so api key is something which is unique this is how you can authenticate yourself in this api they can identify you whatever you will do they can track you they can send you the bill accordingly so i'm not saying you all the stuff like how to use it all this kind of stuff i will create a separate video for that just i have shown you some idea like how you can make use of it so this is how there are a number of apis are available and this is something because of that we all are connected i think now we have a number of points available so you can create your own definition the way you want okay so api application programming interface so interface i already discussed it will tell you about what not how like how this logic was written you will just use it programming i told you api is nothing but a piece of software it is kind of service application so you can create your own api or you can use someone else's api in your application so let us finally see all the points number one api is a piece of software which we can use to communicate two or more pieces of application number two it is just an interface it will tell you about what not how three you can create your own api or you can use someone else's api in your application fourth some api are free some are not fifth because of api all application are connected so for the last time all application are connected because of api so i hope you have understood like the concept of an api like how it is going to help you after that if you have any doubt any queries please let me know by keeping a comment in the comment section
but I haven't talked about few points like how API endpoint looks like, what are the kind of protocol those are available, what is RESTful API, what is SOAP. I will discuss all this thing in the next video, in a separate video. So thanks for watching. For more videos like this, you can follow my channel. See you on the next video. For now, take care. Tata. Bye-bye.